Hello friends, CRAD is very basic data mesh operations which we usually use it for select, insert, update and delete. In this topic, I will develop a simple application using Laravel and also in that application I will use image upload along with CRAD. So this is a very basic and simple application. Let us see how this application will look like. So here I have used the list of users which I am using Laravel's user table to select the data from the user table and then displaying the details. All I have done, I have added uh, additional column in the user table which is photo. If there is data in the users table, the data will be shown here. So I have added a new user button which will actually add the user. So let us add the user. and yes submit it so there is a validation so let us enter the data user register successfully details are showing and image preview is shown here i can edit it change the photo so it's updated here i can also delete it when i delete it there is a model i have used in this model i have used a soon i have used its form which actually uses the user id and it submits the form when i click on the delete i cancel it we add new one Photo is not mandatory, default photo is, is the avatar is displayed here, I can update the photo, photo is updated, I can delete it. deleted so all the operations for the crud select insert update and delete all the operations are done and also i am uploading the photo and previewing it here so let us see how we can develop this application so what i have done here I have created a project, project name is Lara CRUD in F drive Laravel Lara CRUD project. All I have done just I went to the command prompt Laravel CMD then So composer create project laravel laravel laracrad minus minus prefer minus disk. So using this I created the project and project is created under f laravel laracrad. So what I have done then I open the project here I change first I change the environment here. I change the database Lara CRUD and create a data, database in MySQL. I created the database and then in the common prompt i run the migration so when i run the migrate php artisan migrate default laravel tables are created here and all i have to do now i have to add a new column in the 
users table. So I have created a new migration file make migration so in users table i have added a new column i want to add actually i want to add a new column photo so i am creating the migration for that and once the migration is created i have this migration here add photo so in the migration column in the migration file i have added a photo field which is nullable and i want to add it after email so once i migrate again if i migrate again the table was altered with a new column added so if we see the structure of the table so now we can see photo column is added in the users table then i i updated the model in the model i added the new column photo then then let us see the controller i have created a controller called user controller so it's a basically i have created it as a resource controller so in index i am displaying all the users the first page which is actually showing here this is actually the index page then when i create a new user when i create a new user add user view is there i am using add user for both i am using add user for both new user and update user when i data entered and click on submit the store method is called i am validating all the fields here now we see that name and email are mandatory photo is not mandatory but i check the type of the image file and the size is 2mb i am uploading the file in public folder with upload folder in it and creating a user instance and then assigning the values and checking if the photo is selected if there is a photo then i am changing the name of the photo and then moving the file in the public folder so once i insert the value i create a session message here session using session flash and then redirecting to the user index so if i now update for edit if i cancel it we see for edit i am editing i am calling the same view which is add user but with the value of the user user details here i am selecting all the values for the user for the id and call, calling the view add user update method is simple method same thing like add id the id the validation and then get the details of the existing values and then checking the file now here one thing we have to see if there is a file photo is changed then we have to remove the old photo so here the code is doing that is just checking if the photo exists then it's deletes the photo from the upload folder then it saving it saving the data and then with a successful message and then redirecting to main page for delete there is a modal called so i'll just show you how it is done so i have created a modal here and once delete button is called then the modal is displayed and the value is 
assigned in a form here it's actually it's there is a form in the model and i am assigning the value of user id in this field so using a javascript function i am assigning this value once it is once you click on the delete button and once model is confirmed confirm delete button is clicked then a form is submitted and user controller destroy method is called and the user details are deleted and also same thing the file is also deleted from the uploads folder so if we see if we see the views here i have the layouts header footer master here standard header which we will use bootstrap uh, 5 and footer there is some javascript uh, library here jquery.min.js and bootstrap.min.js and master is our master layout and there is the add user so in this add user i have to check whether it's for the edit or it's for the new user so i'm checking for everything like here for form i'm calling in the action there are two routes user.update and user.store depending on whether it's update or it's a new user similarly for the values are also assigned like this if for update we display the existing value otherwise old name old values are displayed similarly for main and for the photo as soon as photo is selected we click we use a preview image function to display the preview of the photo and for the edit if there is a photo it will be displayed here as background image and for the new user i am displaying a default image here so if you see there there is a javascript function preview image which is actually used to display the preview of the image now if we see the index page index page is very simple one which is we are just displaying the values in a table one thing we have to just see that similar way the same way we are displaying the photo here for the existing if photo exist then we display the photo if not we will display a default image now in the action edit and delete for edit route is user.edit and for delete we are calling a function here javascript function which is delete function it's just assigning the values of the user id in the form and showing the model let's see the routes here we have few routes i have added here for the index and for all create edit update and delete the routes are created there if we see here we just edit with the same email id suppose i create a new user with the same email id so it says email id already been taken so the validation is also working so this way we can develop the application using upload image as well as laravel crud so it's a very simple application you can see the details of this topic in website codeout.com and i have given the link in the description for the website as well as for this topic you can see the details step by step explanations are given you can download the code and also use it and if you want to change it you can change as per your requirement if you find it useful you can always give a like for this video and also you can subscribe it for many more topics thank you